What is going on guys, Search and Stacked Up, so I'm actually finally doing a video on my computer. I'm going to be showing you how to control your max fan speed with a software that is available online for free, completely free. So what you want to do is you want to go to the link in the description below at Crystal, I think it's like crystalidea.com or something like that. You're going to click on free download. You're going to download for Mac OS. You can download it for Windows, but you have to be running Windows on a Mac. So say you have Bootcamp installed, or it's already automatically installed, but say you have Bootcamp running and you're using like Windows 7 or 10, you can use this software for Windows. Say you don't like Mac OS and you want to have Windows on your MacBook Pro, something like that. So now what you're going to do is you're going to go down here. You're going to have to take this software. So go ahead and close your browser. You're going to go to Finder, go to Applications, then you're just going to go to the Applications folder. You're going to grab Max Fan Control and drag it to your Applications folder. This way it's going to show up. So now what you want to do is you want to do Spotlight. I know I could have just clicked it, but I'm just going to do this. So you're going to type in Max Fan Control. Then you're going to click open because it's going to say it's been downloaded from the internet. Safari downloaded this file today at 5.06 p.m. or depending on the time you downloaded it. You're going to click open. You're going to enter your password. So what the software will allow you to do is if you click auto. So it's going to automatically do it. I have used this uh, software before so I uninstall it so I could do this video. But if you click custom, you can change the thing you want. So if you want to do 6200 RPMs, this allows you to make it go full-fledged. You may not be able to hear me, but I usually do 6200 RPMs if I am playing a video game on my computer because I like to have it so that um, my computer will be cool at all times. The sound doesn't bother me as much as it does with some people. I frankly just don't care. Um, the only downside is, is it's colored. I think you can change it to a black and white one. Alright, so that looks better. So it matches my aesthetic that I'm trying to do. You can do the fan exhaust if you want it to show all this information. Uh, you can even make it so it only shows up on one line. Or you can do both so you can see what is happening up there. But in this case, I have this off because I don't want to ruin the aesthetic of it just being icons. Um, and yes, when I check the time, I click up here to see it uh, if I'm too lazy to read analog. But anyway, so that is how you change your Max fan control in 2017. Uh, if you liked it, if you liked it, just like if you thought it sucked, please subscribe to my channel if you guys are new. Uh, comment down below for future videos. Let me know if you guys want to see any other tips and tricks that I can show you with Mac OS, Windows, because I do have a Windows PC. I'm just going to have to record with a camera. But anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video, and peace out.